Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to Digium Live. I'm your host, Brian Ferguson, and with me today, uh, very excited to have back Adam Kramer, who's the product manager for Switchbox here at Digium. And uh, again, we're really excited to have him back. So welcome, Adam. Thank you, Brian. It's good to be back. Great. So um, I understand there's lots of really great new things that are happening with Switchbox, especially with Switchbox Cloud today. So why don't you just give us an overview of what's new? Sure, yeah. The A um, uh, couple big announcements coming out this week, um, the first of which is our new meter pricing plan. So uh, I'll get into some of the details on that. But uh, in addition to uh, new pricing, we also have uh, launched our, our latest version of Switchbox, which is uh, Switchbox Cloud 6.0. Um, and uh, that has been a pretty big effort, and we're excited to get it out in the public. Okay, so great. So let's dive into 6.0 a little bit. So 6.0 is built on Ashes 13, which completely overhauls all of Switchbox, the underlying engine of it. That must have been quite an, under, an undertaking. Yeah, actually. Um, so Digium being the uh, the maintainers of Astros, the open source project, um, gives our Switchbox engineers uh, quite an advantage, uh, being able to work hand in hand with those Astros engineers. Um, and the 6.0 project is a prime example of, of that effort. And, and they did work very closely and, um, you know, over a year in the making. Um, was 6.0, and you know, as you mentioned, it's it's essentially a complete rebuild. Um, not not all parts were rebuilt, but very large portions of Switchbox were completely rebuilt for 6.0, um, so that they could run on Astros 13. So, you know, with Astros 13, we get a, a whole new um, uh, a framework that that Switchbox is built on. That's going to be more efficient, um, better call handling, um, much less chatter across the network. So, um, from a performance standpoint, um, Switchbox is is going to be much better than than previously. Um, and, and at the end of the day, um, you know, being able to use Astros 13 um, will open up a, a whole set of new features that, uh, that are under the hood that we aren't even utilizing yet um, in, in 6.0, but, um, you know, sets up a, a, a great roadmap for us to, to build uh, better integrations and, and take advantage of a lot of those features that are native to uh, Astros 13 and, you know, uh, all the other things that come along with working on an open source platform. Um, you know, as the, as the development community adds features into Astros, um, we'll be able to, to leverage those features in Switchbox. So tell us about kind of the user experience features that are new and some of the existing ones that have changed. Yeah, um, so the, the biggest change you'll probably notice in uh, 6.0 will be with the award-winning switchboard. Um, we uh, followed the material design language to do a complete redesign of the switchboard. So um, it's got a whole new look and feel that um, it's a lot cleaner, more efficient, and uh, easier for users to manage their their, uh, their switchboard. Um, and you know, if you've, if you've seen our, our Switchbox soft phone for iPhone, the, uh, the design language used in that uh, carries forward to the switchboard, so it'll look very familiar. Oh, great. Great. So what are some of the new um, new widgets or new parts of the switchboard that, that are out there? Yeah. Um, the the uh, Again, back to sort of the efficiency of the switchboard, um, one of the big things we, we introduced in 6.0 is uh, the ability to manage your own layout. So um, if you are familiar with the old switchboard, uh, you could create you know, a, a set of widgets and, and organize them on the screen and resize them. However, it was um, a little difficult to, to get a, a nice clean layout. So um, we've, we've uh, created layouts that, that snap to a grid and auto uh, you know, to dynamically resize so that you can um, you know, create a layout that's, that's ideal for you. And then you can save that layout um, and, and save a variety of layouts depending on what kind of task you're trying to accomplish and then quickly switch between those layouts. Um, we've also introduced um, notifications into the switchboard. Um, these notifications can, you know, apply from everything from from your your um, your call, your incoming calls, your your um, chats, videos, um, uh, queue alerts, um, and all of those those alerts can come via a, a desktop alert, a browser alert, or even Audible. And you can you can set all of those um, individually depending on what you want to be alerted for. Um, and, and, and lastly, um, you know, just some other basic widgets uh, got enhancements um, from our queue widgets, uh, better, better visibility into um, queue status and, and you know, call, call thresholds, um, as well as we added a voicemail widget that lets you play back your, your voicemails or, um, or forward your voicemails or, or delete them right from the switchboard. Great. Yeah, one of the ones I really love about the new switchboard is the, the queue stuff that you talked about. The fact that now instead of having to flip through tabs and to get to different information, you have it all there in one place. So I think it'll be great for call centers. Great. All right. Yeah, so those are some exciting user features. What about the admin? What's um, new for them? 
Yeah, uh, so from the administrative standpoint, we, we tried to you know, create uh, some, some tools that make it a little bit easier to manage your organization. So one of them was our contacts and tags, which basically replaced the switchboard, uh, sorry, the, the phone books in, in uh, the old version of, of, of Switchbox. Um, you're able to take a tag and, uh, and apply it to a group of people um, functionally in your organization, whether that's sales, customer support, um, tech support and then when you when you add somebody to that to that list um, it automatically populates out to anywhere that tag is being used so if a user has set up a switchboard with a widget where they want to watch all their salespeople um, if, if a new salesperson is added by the administrator administrator and, and a tag is applied to them uh, those switchboard widgets automatically update with those new users oh that's great and another global setting that administrators have control over now are those layouts. So we talked about from a user standpoint, uh, the ability to, to manage layouts uh, for yourself. Um, an administrator can also uh, manage a layout. So they can create um, a, maybe a, a, what, a, what a company would want for a, a typical queue agent um, to, to have as their, as their switchboard layout. Configure it just the way they want, add whatever tags uh, make sense for that layout. Um, and then publish that globally and, and apply it to, to new users. So the first day uh, a, new, a new Q person comes into work and they open up their switchboard, they've already got a layout that's uh, predetermined by the administrator and, and, and pushed out to them. So um, a, a lot more flexibility when it comes to um, what an administrator can do to, to push out uh, layouts and contacts and tags and, and uh, get, get users set up and going really quickly. Yeah, that's very, very helpful. Um, one of the things that I think is really neat about 6.0 is the um, addition of new Salesforce integration. Can you um, explain how that works? Yeah, so um, as as we take advantage of um, some of the new stuff in, in SwitchFox 6.0, um, particularly the real-time engine that goes along with the switchboard, it's going to allow us to do a whole, a whole new line of uh, integrations that, that are more powerful and, and better integrated than previously. So um, a, a good example and, and sort of our, our first foray into that um, is the new uh, Salesforce plugin. So um, this is sort of a, a beta uh, release right now where uh, you can you can use our switchboard functionality directly within Salesforce. So you open up a Salesforce uh, instance and and uh, sign into your your Switchbox extension um, within the within the plugin, and you never have to use leave Salesforce again. Um, it does lookups on on incoming calls. You can click the dial right from Salesforce. You can log calls um, directly into Salesforce with that without ever having to leave it. So previously. Um, it, all, all of our integrations uh, happened within the switchboard. So you'd have to have the switchboard open and Salesforce. But um, now using using a, a, a whole new set of real-time APIs um, within, the, within the switchbox and, and the new switchboard real-time engine, we can build um, these type of integrations. And, and this new Salesforce plugin is just sort of the first uh, of many to come. Oh, that's great, great. So um, you mentioned at the top that we have new pricing options for Switchbox Cloud, which are really exciting. Can you tell us a little bit about those? Yeah, so um, uh, we've we've had Switchbox Cloud out for a while now, and uh, it's been under a unlimited plan. So as many minutes as you need, um, and it was basically a per seat uh, cost. So. Um, you know, just generally, cloud is is a great option for companies looking to um, not lay out a lot of capital expense and and move to more of an opex model. Um, but that being said, not all organizations are the same. And you know, maybe you're uh, more of a seasonal uh, organization where you know your call volumes fluctuate. Well, an unlimited plan might not make sense for you. So we've introduced a new meter plan. So now it's more of a pay as you go. Um, it's got a much lower uh, introductory cost, and then you pay by the minute. So um, some users might have more or less usage, but um, in, in general, you have more control over over those those uh, ebbs and flow in your organization as, as seasonality goes, or you might you know use more minutes one month and the next. So um, a, a lot more flexibility and again, a, an even lower price point to, to come in at. Yeah, so I think great for people who are on a budget that, you know, lower call volumes as well, where they just maybe don't take a lot of calls, engineering firms or places like that, be a great fit for them, I think, too. Yeah, absolutely. All right, well, great. Well, um, Adam, we definitely appreciate the update. We're all really excited about um, 6.0 and what it can do, and uh, we appreciate you being with us today. Thank you, Brian. All right, so um, thank you everybody for joining and we look forward to being with you on the next Digim Live.